This video covers uh, SIMA S107 main shaft replacement for your helicopter. So you might ask why I'm making this video. It's basically because I'm a slow learner. First I couldn't figure out the throttle on the helicopter. Uh, once I got the throttle working I couldn't figure out takeoff. Uh, things near the helicopter on takeoff were a problem for me. Uh, the floor was a problem for me. Uh, once I could get it in the air, walls were a problem for me, closets were a problem for me, uh, walls near closets were a problem for me. Oh. What else? Uh, carpet again, problem. Uh, got a nice slow-mo video here uh, showing how I can take the helicopter off, but uh, alas, the wall is still a problem for me. So I was uh, impressed. Uh, I gave this helicopter a beating and it took a while before it broke. So the first thing I think anyone should do when they buy one of these is, well, buy two. One to learn on and then one to play with. So uh, the second thing is to take a picture of the helicopter in the box so that if you need to look at it, you can see it. So here's the picture of the helicopter as it came in the box. A little bit closer up showing the gears inside the the body of the helicopter and the main shaft. And then this was kind of the tricky part with the, uh, this is the how the, the rotors and the, the balance bar fit onto the helicopter top. So uh, the top is the replacement main shaft. The bottom is the one that I pulled out of my helicopter. And you can see uh, on the left hand side where I sheared off the two pins that hold the rotors in place. So uh, I was flying the helicopter, became real unstable, uh, couldn't really do anything with it. And when I looked at it closely, yep, I'd sheared these pins off. So I uh, ordered the replacement part. Replacement part was pretty significant in cost relative to the helicopter, but I figured I'd try and salvage the helicopter. Uh, Here's the helicopter with the main shaft pulled out. I pulled the, the undercarriage off to get a better grip. You may or may not need to do that. Uh, and I had to use pliers. I grabbed, a, grabbed the main shaft on the top with pliers and I pulled till it came out. Uh, you can see the lower rotor and the, the tube that the main shaft fits through. So uh, This is a close-up shot, again out of the box, showing the gearing. Once you pull the main shaft out, your that bottom gear is going to be loose. So the it's important to when you put the new shaft in to uh, well fit it through the pipe that I showed in the previous picture, and then down through that gear because that bottom gear will be loose inside of the inside of the body of the helicopter. Another shot showing how uh, how the gear should look. Uh, and, Let's see, here we have the new main shaft put in and the old main shaft pointing to the gear, uh, how it should be as fixed. Next, uh, this piece, you take off the old main shaft. Uh, this is part of the assembly that holds the rotors in place. So slide that on first uh, that's, and, and get it in place. Next, what you want to do is these little pieces, you have to again take off the... Uh, the old main shaft. There's there's a couple screws to take it off. There's a screw for each rotor and then there's a screw, two screws here and I'll show those in a minute. Uh, so those kind of hold hands, they slide over the, the the pieces I sheared off that are now shown and uh, here's the next picture, them going on. They slide in and fit together. You want to put the screws in from the top and so this picture shows the screws in the screws, uh, the two pieces screwed together, and then the the that other piece that you put on first below in the correct orientation. And now you want to, I guess, it's important to note, uh, you want those uh, little tiny pieces of pipe, little tubes sticking up, because that's what the rotors are going to ride on. So next, you want to install the rotors by sandwiching the rotors between those two pieces of plastic and uh, again the screws go from the top down. Uh, here's another shot showing how the rotors go together. And then finally you've got to put the, uh, the, the balance bar on top. So 
again, you got a screw to put through. Uh, this shot shows the balance bar out of the way. And here we are putting the balance bar wire back in. And then here are the uh, buckles that connect the the balance the balance bar with the uh, with the upper set of rotors. So uh, I I flew this helicopter with one of these buckles, and once I replaced that buckle, it is now much more stable. So I highly recommend two sets of buckles. Uh, here's another couple shots showing the helicopter put back together. Uh, both both buckles in place, the rotor in place, the balance bar in place. Another shot. Another shot. So I, I think in general uh, a repair kit is probably a worthwhile investment with uh, this the helicopter. The, but you know, the helicopter cost. Uh, I would buy a I would buy there's a couple different kits you can get make sure your kit has uh, the main blades because those are per, those are relatively durable but they do break you want a balance bar you also want a kit that has a couple of connect buckles and you want a kit that has the main shaft as uh, when I price the kits out the main shaft kit costs the main shaft alone is seven bucks or the main shaft and a kit with all the blades and and body parts and buckles is ten bucks. So uh, I bought my helicopters on Amazon. Uh, I thought it was a great way to go. Anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for watching.